another button. Please say you can see me. <laughs> and can you see the chat? YouTube chat. That is some way behind as well. Oh. Oh, okay. I see that chat, but now not okay. Right, which means, oh, this might be better then. Pop out chat, copy that. Um, it's actually not so bad, now I'm thinking about it. Um, because I don't care if anyone's there anyway and they don't know who I am so that means that can appear in the stream now as well okay I know shit voice haven't I oh what if you've seen So, dear guests, that means I don't need to talk to you on Discord, because you're on there. <laughs> yeah, it is my shit voice. Uh, right, so, um, so that's about a minute behind then, I think. <sighs> So, um, I keep getting texts as well. Um, so I've created a new project with nothing in it. Oh, no, it's not that far behind, it's about 30 seconds. And you can grab the software from planetmu.net, it's Cascade 50. There's two tapes. Yeah, I thought I was going to have the other one, but I don't know where else to have it. I got given a cam last night for somebody who's leaving the office, which is this one. It's only 720, but it was just to whatever, and then we got one from outside because it is nice. You don't need me in profile as well as whatever. I'm guessing you can hear me then as well. Quite clearly, I got given um microphone because uh, my mic was crap on my webcam. So um got this one for twenty five quid, I think it was. So um. Absolutely knackered. So first things first, um, we need the game, and I have a copy of the basic game, which you can grab um, 
from Cascade 50. Let me edit that. It's already done. I'm going to do the game, basic game in here. Um, this is, it's called Jet Fighter on Cascade 50. And I'm just going to paste it in. We could run it. <sighs> and you'll see how crap this really is. Um, five and even slow is even faster is slow. Um, that's a mistake. That space bar should be highlighting where this space bar is, and then fire is the other one. Oh, I've got this on warp. No wonder it's going quick. Ha! <laughs> um, so problem is it doesn't go across all 40 characters. It overlays a load of buildings on this one. This goes down. You press fire. Oh, is it space? Bomb drops straight down. Now it's special. I think the plane goes behind some of the clouds. Um, the buildings are completely randomly done, which we can do in assembly. What we'll do first is just make up some predefined screens. Um, but the random generator using the waveform is pretty cool. And you can randomize it even in Vice by using human intervention, which is a time um, parameter in that it takes you different times each time you press the game to um, do that start, yes, um, press space, choose your levels, and because of that, time does become different, and then you can use that as a seed to generate the random waveform. Um, now, this is something I've already noticed, I need to... Maximum Vice 2. Okie dokie. Okay. As you can probably tell, I'm being advised by a friend of mine called Old School Coder, John. And you should definitely watch him and not me. Because um, he makes far more mistakes than I do. No, it's a lot. He's, he's much, much better at this shit than I am. At this, than I am. Um, I'm still really new. To all this, um, and um, oops, and it you'll benefit watching him. He used to write stuff on the sixty four. Um. <laughs> Um, is that be is that better font size? It's very big, but um, it is a twenty-seven. I suppose it matters. It's full HD. Does this need a move? Um. <laughs> I can't. Um. I wonder if it's because it's maximised. If I should do it that way, it might be another bug. Because the guy who codes this vice, this CBM Studio, writes lots of bugs in it as well. And as you can see, I'm using a beta, beta version for. Three point fourteen. I cannot move that sideways. Not pinned. That's pinned. It was. Oh God! Why would you do that? I think it's like I'm gonna get all sorts of idiots coming on now. Idiots like me. Um. I. Does that um. Yeah, P.411 
3.141 subversion 5 see I can't see how I project information yeah, I don't want that I don't particularly care too much about that Anyway, I don't even know if it's is it needed. I guess it would make. I'm sure it's even needed, or should be possible to make a little wider for this assembly. Only. Um. Okay. So um, we've got a load of data in the bottom here. Um, sprites and we have some characters which are down here um, there are resources on the internet that um, have uh, character sets already predefined and then you can grab them download them add these bits on I already have um, done that um, in the other version that I have that I was testing on so oh. yeah I can't and I can't turn it off um anyway um So let me find my character set on my screen. So um, the first one, character sprites, um, I just downloaded a character set that was um, available and then I added um, these in myself. Oops. So there's the character set, I don't know why I'm pointing because you can't see that. And then these are the characters, tops of the building, that's been exploded, oh it could actually be a roof. Um, um, I actually haven't done the um, bit where it drops down um, and then I've got a couple of other things that I put in there for making sure I was okay so we need those and then the plane which wasn't the best but um, what I've done is I've made a few of them because this um, if you imagine this one just had that that's your plane it's very static we'll still do that but I made a sequence of four bomb dropping in both directions then we have an explosion which is a multicolor sprite um, and um, yeah so there's your planes and the bomb so that's uh, save that's needed and then the last one is the screen. I'm just put a basic screen down. Where's that gone? Did it not open? Yes, it did. Actually, that can be a space again. I don't think they need to be characters anymore. Oh, that 
that's why I did it. It's been such a bit of time since I um, did it. So actually the, the characters are there but I couldn't get these and I was trying to work out what to do for best. And actually a blue background would be best now. And then put the grass on top. I don't know what I was doing. So, screen clear. Yep. Background, it's blue. Grass. Uh, character color is not blue, it's green. Put some grass, oops, put some grass down. Put some of this other grass down, just so it looks a bit different. Don't really care what it looks like. skills were as good as my assembly language skills. I'm not even talking that loud and he's not said that I'm talking too quiet. What? John da Oh, you're joking. Good afternoon. Why? Um, right, um, and then we just need a colour for some of the buildings. So we've got a door there. No, I don't want green. Just pick the wrong colour. Green, orange, and some windows. It's just something we can test against. And then a roof. And a different colour. That's going to be a horrible change. Purple. Let's try that one. Um, different door. This is a uh, high intense. This is an office block. Oh, I'm starving. Oh, that'll do. Oh, sorry, that'll do for the moment. You can do your own. Save it. And exit it. So, we've seen the game. Um, we know what it's going to be doing. Um, and I guess... So what do we do first? Well, I've always done the nice bits first, the pretty bits, and... Then I come rapidly unstuck. So I spoke to John about it, and um, and actually doing the the guts of the game first is the best bit. Um, it's get that bit done. The niceties can be done around it. So um, this program, this is your sprite positioning. Looking at that, uh, making sure it goes across the thing. We know the sprite goes from left to right, right to left. So we need to say something which way it's going. Um, instructions. That's an end.
this is oh this is um your score's going up by one so this is going to be some sort of collision this is your bomb x and y so that means your bomb's going down that's your instructions instructions doing the character set instructions um oh this is your key input so the guts of the game oh here there's only one button to press oh here it is if p key because when you select the key um i saw that just a second ago um Uh, do you want joystick? Do you want joystick? So P equals peak. So this is a keyboard detection. It's asking if you want yes or no. If P is 25, then key is 562. That's joystick port one. And five six. I'm sure that is. I haven't done that yet. How do you import the character set to use an assembly? I haven't done um, anything. I'm just trying to get my head around the 56320. Is joystick A. So that is joystick port 1. Which we don't want to use. It's five. We want to use the other one. one. Oh, so, oh, so we start off with, you just, you know how to import it, <sighs> you're just doing that to make me say something, um, so we're going to call this, um, Bomber 64, uh, yeah, no, that, uh, this is going to be the assembly, so this is going to be the main, so I always have a main one, we have a, constants one well it's constants and variables actually but I call it constants um, I have a player one I have an initialize one so these are just files where everything goes into I have a bomb one because there's a bomb in it. Otherwise, it will be a fire, but it's actually a bomb, so I'm calling it a bomb. And the rest I'll make up. Oh, I think I'll probably have a screen one. Screen one. Because that will load the screen. I'll load the screen into another part around and then just push it, copy it across. I'm getting map in the 64. See, yeah, there is a. Um, I've got that. There's. Um, you can get them online. Um, it's all in my um, 64 books page. Um, com computes map in the Commodore 64. I've got it as a PDF. And in here. Oh, I wonder if we can find it. Um, five six. Um. Yeah. So it's like they got something about the keyboard matrix as well. Um. Five four. Keep going. Five six three two zero. Five six three two one. And 56320 is some that's the keyboard matrix, isn't it? Looks like. Oh crap. But then that says 5632 right to port A. No, that is, that's right. So we do use we use 56321 because it doesn't interfere, it only reads. We don't want to write. Um so yeah, it, it we that's why a lot of games use port. 
joystick port 1, not joystick port 0. Um, so it is 56321 we want. There you go. He's giggling. He's like, oh my god, he'll be laughing as well. He'll be shouting at the screen, which is what I do. Um, and um, actually, if you go to Old School's Coders forum, which is somewhere on the scrolling screen, I think, um, you can get onto, um, and you become his patron. You can um, get access to his patron features, which includes early access to the, um, and join him in the development of Program Studio. Um, this is beta one. It's fixed. I think it just fixed the startup. He said, um, but the forum's got a load of. At the moment, we're doing sixty-four, but we've got the ability to use. Um, he's going to be going on to um, a few other things, such as um, we're doing Python, or he's using Python to do the game play for a game that we're all collaborating with, which is Hunchback. He's just finishing off Neptune Lander, which is a remake of Jupiter, and something else. Oh, but there's a load of us. Um, 64, I suppose, an enthusiast. Grey Defender comes on there. AJ, Arthur, who wrote, who writes some um, CBM Program Studio. He's on there. Um, John's also helping them develop the studio, and there is going to be a future release with an integration with Kick, and I. I love this interface, but I love the features that Kick have, because when I watch Shallon do his stuff, and he just blows me away. I struggle following him live, and even when I reread his stuff, I do get it eventually, but it's hard. But um, yeah, so if you go to forum the old school, um, you'll see um, there's more than what normally you would see. But we've got a big Commodore 64 section. We've got stuff ready for the Amiga, Python, BBC, X16, if that ever comes out. Um, I don't think we're doing the MU 65, um, but yeah, in here you can see Arthur's put um, some stuff about um, the 3.14, and um, yeah, hopefully 3.141 Beta 5 will come out, and then we will have Pi. And old forums, old school. Uh, old, um, his website is just he's just got blogs on there and there's all his video stuff um, which like I said, it's far better than mine and the other person is Shannon on Discord and I think he's Evolute Games yep he's on Twitter and uh, yeah Evolute Games is the other guy on Patreon and on YouTube and you should definitely watch his stuff it's um he's doing coding a game he wrote a game, I think, in 16 hours for charity. Or maybe it's not that one, but he's certainly Evil Loot Games. Shallon. Yeah, he wrote Luna in... Luma, he wrote in 16 hours. It was for charity. Um, and Dot Cosmos, Dot Cosmos 2. And he's doing some other stuff. Um, very, he's, he's amazing. Um, that's enough bigging him up though. And, oh, hi, Amok here. Oh, no, I'm, now I'm really, really embarrassed. Um, I don't mind John watching, but now we've got others. Oh, is John watching twice? He's come on as John Dale. I can't work that bit out. Um, so, he did ask, how do I get characters into... Um, into the game so um, the first thing I'm gonna do is as a generate syscall we start that 0810 it writes it for me um, I then um, I'm gonna have to cheat because I've already worked it out and to figure it all out again is gonna take a long time and I want this to be a bit more interesting than me just trying to really figure stuff out straight um, <laughs> just makes it look busier. It's not really a secret identity because I know it. if it is you, then it's nice. Um, ouch. So, um, okay. 
Okay. Right, yeah. So, um, what I have learned is um, to figure out where I'm going to put stuff, and um, that's something that um, I got from old school and Shannon. Because if I look at it and I can reference it, I hopefully won't re overwrite stuff. And I have done that before when I was doing Pac Man. What? Ha! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Right. Um, so, um, what I'm going to do is. Um, oh dear. What have I done? Cancel. I've clicked on something I didn't mean to. Uh, BC172. Um, then I'm going to be using the upper part of RAM for the screen. Which is VicBank 3. I'm going to use um, So I feel like I've got everyone watching me and I can't type quick now. So 3FF will be the actual screen. Um, to C 7FF. We'll hold seven, 16 sprites. 16 scrotes it should have said. <laughs> I hope I get better at this. Um, and then um, it took me a head a long time to get around this banking crap. But it works, and that's all that matters. And it just frees up a lot of space for other things for your free game really or for whatever in contiguous space we're gonna have one char set of 120 what is that calculate oh come on so I have um No minus. So we've got it's seven FF, isn't it, idiot? What? I'm sure, this is what happened with John. Seven FF is two thousand forty-seven. So two o that's two o four eight actually, because we go to zero. If I've got two o four eight, divide that by eight. So that's the full character set. But we're only using a little bit. Did your stream on Thursday help in terms of... Yeah, it did. I fell asleep quite quickly. <laughs> no, it did. We actually had a one-on-one -on -one with the banking. And we went through that. And that did help. Um, it was... Um, yeah, it was... It's all this thing about you've got ROM and RAM. And when you switch it out, you can write to RAM. But when you read it, you can read from RAM or read from ROM, whether it's switched out or not. And yeah, that was freaking me out. So he um, he did what he had to do. Um, we're not using this, but um, F8. I don't think I am. Um, D -D -D. That's eight. Well, 15 more sprites. We can't use the last bit, so we... Um, that's 15 sprites, we can't use the last ones because they're still used. So I've got a game, I've got an area, and we're going to um, load in, as he's already asked me, um, how do we load in sprites? Well, we've already got the 
sprites, data. Oh, this is all in Git, isn't it? I haven't done that. Um, it's already initialized. I need to. Well, we'll do that sometime. Um, that was very camp. Um, so we've already got the character set, CST, we've got the sprite, SPT, and we've got the file. So um, we can just import the. Um, um, what can we do? We can import the sprites and import the character sets at the right place. So we said the character's getting imported at F00. So if we change the start of the program to be that the next thing we do we'll start at that address and um, we're going to inc include that binary file of the um, characters chars.cst because that's the name of the file up there and we want them up for all of them from um, um, we want um, I want the sprites in so we can change the location now and the sprites I've got going in um, in between this lot I think I've started from the top end going backwards although I don't know why I started where I did but I have started there for a reason um, so that could be altered anyway although I don't want to alter it I know there's not many sprites needed so for easy sake. I can hear my wife downstairs. So we want um starting at sprite one ending at twenty seven and we want them to be padded to sixty four characters, that's what the true is. And then the game can start at um Uh, 0810 but I don't have the screen in yet um, there's a screen file ready for that um, and the screen data is in here so if I does that not is that another bug I can't right click and open that but I can double click on it and open it not more than one window open is there? No. So right click open doesn't open it. Well a good beta test all this as well. Um, opening screen using menu doesn't work. Right click. <laughs> Oh yeah, actually, uh, you know, I should do that right now, otherwise I will forget. Also, the browser I use is Brave. Um, Cause you earn money. I think I've earned about seven dollars just by surfing the internet. Um, so. And some of the issues, a lot of the issues I find aren't issues. They're um, like you, when you do bite, it comes up with bites and it shouldn't do. Um, issue, double clicking, uh, sorry, issue, using right click menu open on screen. It's 
turned off, it shouldn't be in there. Let me double click on it, it's not opening it either. Oh, it's because it's already open now. Okay. Um, so I am going to export um, the data for the assembler. I'll put it into. Um, uh, it will put it into um, data places, generate the whole row, screen data first, um, and why would that be if they have wanted to see what comes up? Screen data, colour data, all there. So I'll copy that, close that, open up the screen. See, I'm a cock. Look at that. This is how bad I am. So I've put this completely in the wrong place. All this lot shouldn't be in there. It should be in main. Because that's where I do stuff in the main. Screen, um, needs a hmm. actually it doesn't we could just leave it at that um, and then in main I want to put the screen data at um, the 800 because Why do I have BC17? <laughs> you did wonder. You noticed that and you shouted at the screen for me. Saying, oi, that shouldn't be that, that should be B800. I don't know why I have BC17, so that's not right. Anyway, B800 and um, because this is an assembly file with just data and it is ink as um so it won't do anything but at least um at least we will get a compilation successful with no issues memory loaded hate that and it will just return brilliant Well, that's something I can't cock up, can I? <laughs> you definitely said what? Right, of course. So, um, that's all good. So the first thing is to, we want to um, initialize things. Actually, should I just do, yeah. So, so actually, the constants I need to do. I have a constants file, which is constantly constant. <laughs> I add to it. I don't take away. Um, it's got a load of stuff in it. I'm just going to paste that in. No, I'm not. I didn't copy it. No, I did. So, um, it's got things like um, colours. Um, zero page areas. This is actually some of the variables I've already used, but we can hoof them out for the moment. Um, already set the screen store and the color stores, sprite positions. These are all in map in the 64. We'll get rid of all them because we won't need those until we get to them. Constantly constant. So um, that will be enough to get us started. So um, 
So when I initialize, um, I load um, black. Um, This is why John's so much better than me. This is also my first time, but he um, is so much better than me at this stream of malarkey. Um, I guess it will get better in time. So there is. Yeah, I couldn't remember what it was called. So it's, um, it's called the XT Col. And I suppose for consistency. Zero, which is a background colour. Um So the fact that we call this initialize on the main, it will because it's going to be included later um, below all that. We could, well, I'll show you. We could include um, there, which means it's included in the main program, and we've done the screen uh, constants. Um, constants won't hurt. there's really an issue with which order because we're doing jumps and not branches um, so then um, so I've got set the border set the thing we want to clear the screen Doing this just keeps your code a bit more what's the word? Easier to read, I suppose, it's all separated out, but it will chuck it together into one big lump. So if I go clear screen um, on the initialize, it's the same word that will jump to here. Uh, clearing the screen, we just want to put in. Um, Character 32, dollar 20, 1632, yeah, it's that 32. So um, if we load A with 20, LDX, nothing. This is going to be um, um, so we want to store. Ah, oh, I tell you what, we can't do. It's not going to work until we relocate. But I can relocate that um, later, so I can just change it to a four hundred, and that would work straight away with no issues. So we can store it on um, 0400. That's wrong. It's um, F0. I always forget that because I go down, not up. 
So store A at O it's four hundred plus twenty five uh two fifty. I've no idea. I've just realised I probably talk so much. Um one oh two four plus two fifty. Which means I'm not going to store it there either. I'm going to go. Um, so that's 4FA. And then this one is going to be plus 250. So we do it four times, that's 1,000. And 25 times 40 is 1,000 positions on the screen. So it's 5F4. Dollar O, 5F4. Six something. Six FE. zero in either but I do it for consistency. So um stupid thing that adds in spaces. Oh it's me. Um so is it um X equal to FF and if it's not go to loop oh no it's not um X um, B and E at loop. Otherwise, return and that go into there, which is called from there, which will return back to there. Should give me a grey inside, black background. Oh, train. <coughs> Going to Heesham Dock, back to Lancaster and off to Leeds. Oh, fantastic! It didn't work. Why didn't it work? I don't need to debug, it's, this is a set, oh. I didn't even use screen ramp, I used, um, that's what I need to do, I should have used that, I remember that now, oh come on, so that should be that, Oh, I'll tell you what I could do. I could do um, that. Well, I know it's not this. Loading 20. Um, that's um, plus... What's... Oh, I've got to do it again. I can't think it's gone. 250. Is F8, so that's plus dollar F8. That's plus dollar one F4. 
this is something like dollar two. Um, two E E. Three E eight. Two four plus thousand is seven E eight. So minus twenty or thousand twenty four. Three E eight. So that is right. So that's right. It's not that. Right. And it's not going to be anything I've done in there. So I'll just return back. It does. So it goes to initialize. What have I done? Load black, store it as. Oh no. Oh, I know what I've done. It's because it doesn't know what they are. I did that before. Just goes to show I'm not just cheating.
No, I'm a cop. I'm just a wombat, that's not right. That's why it's breaking. I've bloody overcompensated like I normally do. That right that should be that because that oops because X is already loaded It's this. This is this is I think the problem because I'm loading it plus that, and then I'm loading it with X on top of that, and that's where um, it's overwriting the program. Oh, I'm going to take the RTS out. just done this far too stupidly. Um, 250 is FA is so that needs to be FA not F0 and the rest of it's right now Um, as um, as John said, if I'd filled the screen with a character, you'd see where it wasn't clearing it. But that is, that will clear it. It's ridiculous. Now I really do sympathise with him, and I don't think I'll do this um, again. Yeah, if I did, um, what was it? 31. That will show a screen full of ones. Not a gap in sight. We can put that back to 20, so that's my clear screen routine. If I ever need it, I can use it. And then the other things I sometimes do is I will um, have the colour added, so it will change the background foreground um, if they change in a certain location. But that will happen later. And now I am wondering how much more to do. Oh, draw the screen. 
similar routine. Um, I think we can draw the screen. Get something on there. Yep. Um. Um. So that will be in here. This will be loading the data this lot and checking it in. Um, so it'll be loading at B800. It's actually a very similar routine to this. Except we're not loading A with that. But we are starting at 250. We are storing things. And we're going to load stuff first. So I had a constant um, screen store. Is that B800? And the color store. Is that BC100? Well, actually, what I can do is. Did I force that? So that is right, that means it will go straight after. So, um, so this loop stays within this because it's on a new label. So we're going to um, need those two constants in. Screen store and color store. going to store that at the screen round. And then I'm going to do the same for that one, that one, and that one. So this will be in here. This will read the next 250 and then the last 250 so that's going to read that block of data plus all those extras and then store them onto the screen and then we need to do the color because the color is exactly the same as that but instead of screen them no I haven't done this one if I can do that hoping that it would have done it under the highlighted bit. Um, so then in constants um, colour around Americanized, I didn't change it, but I use English. So that would go there, there,
hope that will work straight out. Fantastic! That's not what I wanted to see. <laughs> Looks pretty. <laughs> oh, no, done that. Done that, I've done that. That's included. The screen's at B8. screen store is at B8. So I'm loading the screen store, storing it at screen RAM. Screen RAM is at 1024. Um, You're right. <laughs> you are so right. I was just about to do that. I was just about to say, I bet it's because I've not um, swapped anything else out and it's in the wrong place. Because basic is there. I was just about to do that. So I need to clear that out now. Okay, so there is some standard stuff I should have done, which um, I'm going to uh, put it into initialize. Can't believe, so stupid. Bank out basic. And kernel routines. So it's um, LDA dollar one. Uh, and at least I know what basic looks like on the screen. Don't need to set Vic Bank three yet. Don't need to set the character screen or character. Yes, I do. Yes, I do need to set the bank and everything because you won't see it. You won't see the characters, and when it looks at the screen, it's just going to have normal characters. So, set Vic Bank 3. It's four banks 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, but they go in the opposite orders from memory. Um, So CI2 PRA in constants is DDOO. Um, and I love this keyboard, I hate that key. set the screen and character memory so we're going to set so 16 locations I think we're going to be into location 0 um, no I've got that wrong that's 1111 because it's these two, this, these two are the ones I need to set. I got that wrong. Um. It's two, 
Bolivia is STA STA Where is it? for SCA VMC. I'm looking for this one, VMC SB D018. Um, so that will set that to be right bank and then there was something else which a lot of people seem to forget so I've made a note um, on doing this and that's disable CIA interrupts. That also causes issues. STA CIA INTC2 and they are in constants as well. CIA and C1 and I've added them in, the, I'll try and keep them in order. So now I've banked that out, I now need to change the constant for the screen. The screen RAM is no longer there, that is now at C000. Nothing else needs to change, and that should work correctly. Except we won't be able to return back to basic because that doesn't exist. So it will just hang. Holy shit, but I've not got the RAM right. Colour RAM's not right. Colors are definitely in there. <laughs> and C00, colour RAM is D800, we're loading it, we're storing it. I was surprised. <laughs> oh, good grief. They've reviewed your comment. They want me to... It's up for review. There you go. Um, Colour store is straight after... That. That is right. He's 
going to say get debugger open, but I'm really, really not good at debugger. So B. B800. You can see the colour for the town blocks. I know, I was just looking at that wondering why. No, I can um, colour set to BC00. And I, I wondered if I did come across this. Before and what I might have done is put a star to force it to start there. Because actually, I could do it for both and remove it from in here and just put an ink include it there put that at the top and then I'm forced but I thought that that was B800 see I don't understand that because B800 plus a thousand I'm pretty sure is BC00 Two four, didn't I? That's why. That's why. Oh, cancel. That's why it didn't work. Because I didn't use my head properly. screens we haven't got the bait at the bottom so why is that cropped up
understand why that. Oh, were you? That happened too quick, even at 10%. stream calling. <laughs> I just read what you've put. disappeared to all the grass has gone that was shown originally and um, and the color yeah you're right about the color the um, but I fixed that once I worked out where my um, thing had gone um, but I have and I've just at the top Delete the color store equals. Leave the color store, but delete the equals. Oh, delete that as well. Yep. It does. Yeah. Um, okay. 
But if I don't have that thing there, how does it load it into the right place? Yeah, no, no, I understand that. No, no, I understand that. It's a, if I, at the moment screen when I include screen ASM, there's no. I have I've had to leave the star eight equals B eight hundred at the top. Yes. Oh, that's okay. Right. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So I've now, I think it's, um, that was working a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah, but when I first ran it, if you remember, we didn't have the colour right, but I had I had black grass. And I... Two double E is 750. And FA is already at 250, which gives me the 1,000. And then it's decrementing down. So it's definitely all there. Because that's why when I run the assembly, I was looking in there to see where. Um, that's why. Do you remember when I looked? At, I bought the assembly across. I'm just going to do it. Oh, wrong one. Just to see if the data is there, and it is. So. Yeah. So. Um, right. So we go. Um, Right, B800 is all the spaces, yeah. and then BBE8, which is where color store starts, is all the zeros. So BBC0, BBC1, they're the um, that's the grass. Yeah. Now for some reason it's not getting all the way down there. Oops, yeah. And it should be. Because, um, right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is instead of it being, um, No, I'm going to change it. I'm just, I'm about to, hang on, I'm just about to change this. I'm just about to change this. Hang on. I'm going to just put in there screen store equals dollar 31. So it's not going to read it from anywhere. Oh, hang on. That, no, that's not right. No, that's not going to work. Um, no, what I want to do is I'm just going to rem out that, 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 and that, and put in there LDA hash dollar, oh for God's sake, 31. So that should now start giving me the screens. Oops. So it's not going to read RAM, it's just going to see if I'm getting a full screen of ones put into the right place. Right, so I've got a bank, the last bit not running right. Did I turn one of them off?
Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. I'm, no, 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 I've missed, no, I've missed an X. Was that always like that? Yeah, yeah, I know what... The, yeah, I, f I found out what the issue was. <laughs> um, I'm just undoing it all now. There's no X. <laughs> Somebody nicked my X. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, man, these things are sent to kill us. Yeah, it should. Well, I said I, 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 it worked before, and I was like, I don't understand. And then I couldn't see it for the sake of looking. So that should now... It does, it makes me laugh, because I see you now doing all this, and I'm like, oh gosh, that's why I'm drunk. And he's like, yeah, I can't see this. And we're like, it's right there! <laughs> um, right, this will go. I'm just running it now. And I think I'm going to probably leave it at this. Yay! Right, I'm leaving it at that. I'm going no further. I will do another stream later. Well, it's working, and that's one of the best things. So, um, and you're talking. <laughs> and it'd be nice to see what happens. So, um, it, it's just coming up now. You'll see it running. There you go. <laughs> so, thanks for that. <laughs> Alrighty. The other, the other way would have worked as well. Um, not putting. The, I, I'm going to put it back. I'm going because I like the constants being in one place. Um, but you're right about the. Um, I knew where the colour data is. So I'm just going to tag it there just to separate the two. But um, it was that blooming X. I must have deleted it at some point. All right. Have a good one. Try. All right. Bye. <laughs> Me trying to stream. <laughs> and successfully streaming me cocking things up just like old school does. I'm trying to do um, a game that um, we'd all be doing those Cascade 50 ones um, and I'm doing that jet fighter and um, I have already done I've already got a good I think John's seen it I think I already have a um, a good copy uh, I, I, I've done most of the routine now um, I've got to the point where the I, I'm just get the animation of the uh, bombs going off um, oh, I shouldn't have done that and um, it's so it's got I've, got, I've already got the guts of the game going and I thought well I might as well just do um, do the stream um, because I think Mark's doing um, you're doing um, you're doing it online you're doing um, the blogs and I remember when I did Old Grey was doing it he went really quick as well and, and nothing wrong with it I had to slow down and watch everything but I thought I'll just do it real time really slow and explain as much as I can more for a learning process for me to remember stuff as well as actually in case somebody wants to try and do it um, and you never know um, this yeah this is my um, this is the one I've done uh, for um, um, I, I think Hazemaker had done it and I, I want to um, the next thing I want to do is once I've got the explosions doing I want to gonna get the random routine running right so um, I've just got a bomb and it it arcs down it doesn't just drop straight down I've got the bomb starting to explode on one side but not on the other and um, and I, I know exactly where those are I use Shannon's XY routine um, but I, I also now realise how difficult this is for John, um, and for Shannon probably for that matter. It, it just goes to show how amazing Shannon is. Um, so yeah, and um, then the other thing, all, once I've got all this done, because I always do the um, pretty shit first. Uh, 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 but since uh, you know, I've learned about the XY stuff, so I can carry on with my um, Pac-Man. 
um, because I think my Pac-Man is um, I've made my own XY routine and because I didn't really know how to do it and it does work sort of but the way Shannon did it is so good so um, I just thought oh I'm just going to um, to do that I know how I'm going to do the ghosts so because I think what's name was interested in that and um, the logic for the ghosts that's quite I think quite simple so um, that's my uh oh my god he's in multicolor I've got that wrong Pac-Man's in multicolor um yeah see it kind of it kind of works but it doesn't because he's gone into the wall and he shouldn't and I, it takes the dots um but now I know there's a need to routine and I know how to do that and I understand it I'm going to um, do that so this is my um oh absolutely except when I looked at I think I've even looked at your code and I'm like oh my god that's just like crazy um, and so um, and, and I've looked at Shannon's code and if I don't understand it, I can't copy it because I don't know what I'm copying I'm, and I, I can't copy for the sake of it. I've got to get that into my head first. So my ghosts are um, ready. So um, yeah, um, my next thing on this will be to improve the X and Y routine, implement the right X and Y routine um, and then I can get onto the ghost logic. So which is nice because I would never have been able to do that without doing the bomber one and um and watching stuff that Shannon and um John have done. So and I, I'm liking reading your books to be honest so um I'm going to call this a day now and get something to munch because I'm hungry. So true up.